Understanding context and tone in second conditionals. Hello, language learners. Today, we're going to delve into a fascinating topic in English grammar, specifically under the realm of second conditionals. Our topic is understanding context and tone in second conditionals. This is a crucial part of language learning as it helps you to use the second conditional in ways that are natural and meaningful, adding depth to your English communication skills. Before we dive in, let's quickly review what second conditionals are. They are used to talk about imaginary or unlikely situations in the present or future. The format usually goes like this. If, plus past simple, would, plus base verb. An example might be, if I won the lottery, I would buy a new house. The context in which a sentence is said can dramatically change its meaning. When using second conditionals, it's often to discuss hypothetical scenarios, so context is key. For example, if I were you, I would take the job, can be advice in one context, or criticism in another. Pay attention to what is being discussed before this sentence to understand the intent. Tone refers to the speaker's attitude as expressed through their words. It's crucial to note that second conditionals can carry a sense of longing, regret, criticism, or advice, among others, based on the speaker's tone. For instance, if I had more time, I would read more books, could express regret over a lack of time in a wistful tone, or it could express a simple fact in a neutral tone. Now, let's put our understanding to test with some practice exercises. Consider the sentence, if it were warmer, we would go swimming. What context could this be used in? What tone might it carry? Try to come up with at least three different scenarios and associated tones. That wraps up our discussion on understanding context and tone in second conditionals. Remember, context and tone can dramatically influence the meaning of a second conditional sentence, so always be mindful of them while interpreting or crafting such sentences. Keep practicing, and you'll soon master this crucial aspect of English language. As always, happy learning!